Hey what's going on guys Tanmay for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on digital electronics boolean algebra and logic gates so in the previous video tutorial we saw the basic concept of clock and what is a clock in digital electronics and some theoretical explanation about it so if you have missed that video you can check it out in this playlist and you can see a card on the top right corner and in this video tutorial we'll be discussing the different type of clock triggering techniques which we use along with the sequential circuits now in the previous video tutorial i told you that i'll explain you the term duty cycle which was used in the key point but i forgot in that video tutorial so let me just quickly explain to you what duty cycle means so theoretically a duty cycle is the fraction of one period in which a signal or a system is active so in this case it is going to be a digital signal and it is a fraction of one period now you can see there is a digital signal over here this is a square wave okay now the time period is going to be one complete cycle so from 0 to 1 and then again back to 0 so this is one complete cycle right so this is the time period now a duty cycle is a fraction of one period so it's a fraction of this period in which a signal or a system is active so in this case the signal is active for one half that is 1 by 2 and it is low for 1 by 2 so which means that the duty cycle over here is 50% it is usually in percentage so 50% means 1 by 2 right so that's what duty cycle is that was just a concept and you don't need to like get yourself confused with this term duty cycle generally it is in percentage okay so yeah this was just about this duty cycle that i forgot to explain you in the previous video tutorial so let's start off with the different clock triggering techniques in this video tutorial now as the title suggests we have two different types of clock triggering one is level triggering and the second one is edge triggering inside which we have further categorization so let's start off with what is level triggering okay so as you can see on the screen we have level triggering techniques and inside that we have two different triggering methodologies so we have high level triggering and low level triggering and as the name suggests level triggering techniques is when the clock is high or low for a certain time so in high level the clock is active only during this portion that is this pink marked portion okay so this is a flip flop sr flip flop with a clock and it will work only when the clock is high that is the clk is equal to 1 similarly for low triggering that is low level triggering we have clk is equal to 0 which means that this pink line that i have marked will work only from this duration to du this duration then it will work from this duration to this duration and from year to year so for the rest of the time that is for this case it is going to remain off that that means the flip flop will not generate any output it will just give the previous output and it will maintain its state again for this small duration it will remain off and in high level you can see it will remain off for this time because the signal is low again over here it will remain off because the signal is low and lastly for this case and this goes on and on till the clock signal is being inputted okay so this was level triggering which means that the flip flop is active only during a particular level that is either high level or low level now let's see edge triggering now you can see in the waveform i have this edges so green one is the rising edge or the leading edge we've already seen that in the previous video and when the clock signal goes from 1 to 0 it is known as falling edge so the edge triggering methodology deals with these two edges so these are the two different edge triggering methodologies that is positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering so as the name suggests for positive edge triggering that is this one the flip flop so this is a flip flop with a clock and this is the clock signal clk this is s and r so for positive edge triggering this flip flop will be active only when the clock goes from 0 to 1 so when it goes from 0 to 1 there would be a small duration of time when this transition happens right even though it is not marked over here there will be some milliseconds nanoseconds or some time that the clock will take to go from 0 to 1 right so in that moment of time only the flip flop is going to be active so that's what is related to positive edge triggering similarly in negative edge triggering that is this one this sr flip flop with a clock clk will be active only when the clock goes from 0 to 1 so only during this time so there will be some amount of time that the clock will take to go from 0 to 1 right so in that short span of time the flip flop is triggered and it is being activated so this is known as negative edge triggering so these are the four different types of clock triggering methodologies at the top level we have level triggering and inside which we have two different techniques again we have edge triggering and inside that we have two different techniques usually the edge triggering methodology is highly used 
because it keeps the clock or it keeps the flip flop active for just few moments of time that is few milliseconds or nanoseconds and then that makes the switching very fast so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the concept of clock triggering techniques and the different types of triggering and in the next video tutorial we'll try to see a flip flop with a clock so we've seen the sr flip flop which was without a clock so in the next video tutorial we'll try to understand an sr flip flop using a clock and how it will help us in synchronizing as well as in controlling the flip flop so if you like this video give it a thumbs up guys share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace